Hey, this is Brandon with Cairo Up. Uh, today's blog is going to be on injections and most importantly, how that's going to affect your practice on Monday. Now, I know going into the holiday season, uh, that's the last thing that we're looking to do is change the way we practice. However, this blog is changing the way I practice and let me explain why. I use injections on a regular basis. I have to get people in and out of pain quickly to make sure they're happy with their care. So I am, I do fall victim to medications, to steroids, and sometimes to injections because I wanna meet their goals as fast as possible. But when it comes to shoulders and joints um, and hips, now people wanna get that pain relief and injections can do that. But when you really dig down deep, what are those injections doing is really the, uh, the highlight behind this blog. Steroids or corticosteroids in this, uh, this respect will help take away pain and inflammation fast. They will, it doesn't matter. They will absolutely do that job for you. However, they do it at a cost of collagen synthesis and decreasing inflammation. They will downregulate lymphocytes. They will downregulate macrophages. They're gonna find a way to get rid of and knock out all the mast cells. They're going to take away that inflammatory reaction. While that may help in the short term, what we found from this paper and also new papers, uh, there, a great one just came on radiology in 2019, I think it was October, where they talked about it's not so much take away pain and inflammation, they will, meaning injections, lead to rapid progressive degeneration of that joint. That is absolutely crazy when you think about it to me because when we have people with knee pain and hip pain and we say, you know what, let's just do an injection, at the very least it won't hurt, that's wrong. That is absolutely wrong. Uh, those injections are decreasing the mineralization of subcortical bone. They are absolutely promoting osteonecrosis. That is a problem. Now, if somebody wants to get one injection to help take away some pain and possibly uh, open up a window of opportunity for your rehab, I'm somewhat okay with that if nothing else has helped and they can't get range of motion. However, keep in mind that injection will prevent them from healing. We need to absolutely make sure that if someone is coming in with a chronic diagnosis, that they've already gone down the chain of, uh, of PT and OT and other chiropractors and uh, maybe sports medicine, that we provide things that promote healing and injections are not that. Um, so take a look at the blog you know, to go through it and read the, uh, the, the benefits and the, uh, the negatives to all the, uh, the injections. And then here's what I want from you. I want you to actually give me some more information on alternatives. We talk about regenerative medicine and different types of uh, injections that promote a healing response like prolotherapy, like PRP, like uh, the different kinds of injections in the blog. However, I want and I need more information on this. And I know there's other people like that out there who want more information on alternatives for our patients to help get them out of pain. So please do me a favor, uh, comment in the, uh, the blog section. Uh, and and um, email me, brandon at chirope.com. I want to get this information out uh, to the rest of our subscribers and the rest of the people that follow this network. Uh, once again, have a great holiday weekend. Uh, hope everybody had enough turkey in you and uh, look forward to talking to you next week.